Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll be covering the topic of velocity versus volume. Uh, first, just to define what the terms actually mean, uh, velocity essentially relates to, as the term suggests, how much velocity you're using to strike the key or strike the instrument, um, and how much force you're using to hit the instrument. For instance, if I was to uh, hit the keys here on the keyboard, I've got my snare line selected. I'll play them softly. Here's some soft notes. And then I'll use a lot more force to actually create notes that were recorded at a higher velocity. Okay, sorry, I hope I didn't make your ears bleed there with those. Um, so that essentially kind of conveys the idea of velocity, and you can have everything in between. Cool, so you can actually hear that you're getting samples that were recorded being played on the drum quietly, gradually growing up to samples that are more in the middle, and then all the way up to uh, hitting the drum with a lot of force and with a lot of velocity. Now, as far as volume goes, that essentially controls this, the slider. So you could be playing something at a high velocity, but the volume could be low, and vice versa. You could be playing something at a low velocity, but the volume could be high. So just to make that distinction there, I'm going to let you hear a few samples. I've got my snare instrument soloed here. I'm going to move on to bar 10, and let's play this. I'll let you hear that snare part. You can actually hear it getting louder, and you're hearing the different samples, the soft samples building up to the loud samples. Um, now I'm going to switch over to the tenor instrument. Do the same thing. And let's give this a play. So I'll actually play these back again. That time you heard essentially this fortissimo sample being played, but it was gradually getting louder. And what I did before the video was went in with the MIDI tool and essentially created a crescendo using the MIDI tool. And that's something you can check out on the user manual. Uh, would come in handy if you're writing wind parts and wanted to create a crescendo. Uh, but I'll let you hear these again. Here's the, the tenor part. Go ahead and play it. So you could hear, even by here, those weren't necessarily soft samples. Those were these loud samples. Now I'll come over and do the same thing with the snare part. Let's go ahead and play this. There you go. Velocity versus volume. All right, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll cover the idea of increasing dynamic contrast between accents and taps using uh, velocity controls in the MIDI tool. So stick around. We'll see you next time.